I want, let me play this real quick. <laughs> All right, Shalom, I'm giving all glory, honor, and praise to you. How about Shemi, how about by Shema Chakwadash? Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone and ruling to teach well. Peace of salutation to the elect 144 first fruit. This is Center uh, uh, for Strategic and International Studies. It says the new Russian North Korea Security Alliance. Now, the video I just showed you is a month old, um, and of course, we already know Russian and uh, North Korean. North Koreans have allied with one another, you know, introducing another friend to the BRICS nations. Um, I'm going to read this first paragraph here. It says, in the early hours of Wednesday morning on June 20th, Russian President Vladimir Putin arrived in Pyongyang uh, for his summit meeting with Kim Jong-un. Uh, this is his first visit to the country in 24 years, signaling the importance of Putin places on his relationship with the North Korean leader during Russia's ongoing war with Ukraine. The Putin-Kim meeting came less than 10 months after their last meeting at the Beskashi, I can't pronounce that, in, in Russian's Amur region. Amur region. Uh, during his one-day stay at Pyongyang, Putin received lavish treatment from Kim, including a personal reception at the airport a welcome ceremony and open car parade at the Kim Il-sung Square, as well as a mass chanting of his name by the North Korean people. So obviously North Korea is extremely excited that they're aligned with the Russians. They have one common enemy and we all, we already know who that common enemy is. It would be the Americans, okay? Uh, not too long ago, uh, Putin declared America as being an enemy and that was like the first time that that's been said since the Soviet time the Cold War era so we really understand what time we are um, also Putin also had that interview with my uh, Tucker Carlson or whatever and in that interview he did speak about how he did speak about how they've tried everything in the book to make relationships at least decent with America and America is unwilling to work with him. So therefore, we know what time it is. He knows what time it is. We all know what time it is. And then Tucker Carlson also, he tried to uh, rush Putin with this story and Putin was uh, pretty much like, yeah, politely shut the fuck up and let me tell you the history and why we're in Ukraine. And get the and you're gonna get all of this history so you can understand why why we're doing what we're doing. Um, you know, they're just taking back what's theirs. Simply put, they're just taking back what's theirs. And now, just recently, this came out eight hours ago. It says North Korean missiles fired on uh, Kiev in deadly Russian attack. Zelensky. So what that means is. North Korea ammunition and um, stockpile is being used in the Russo-Ukrainian war at the moment. So that shows you the stance, the true stance that North Korea has taken. They have involved themselves with backing Russia into taking back what is what is theirs. So let's read a little bit. Russia used a North Korean missile to attack Kiev overnight. Ukraine's president Vladimir's uh, Ukraine's president. Vladimir Zelensky said on Sunday, a trend which the country's Air Force described as a serious threat. Exactly, because now you're implementing another country into this war. We're really seeing the start of this world war unravel right before our eyes. You got tensions in the Middle East. Now you have tensions over here with the Russian-Ukrainian war. America is trying, or the NATO nations are trying to implement certain countries that there was a treaty about about saying that I think NATO wouldn't go past like the Poland 
kind of areas because most of that is Russian territory that just so happened to become a country. <laughs> but really, at first, it was the Soviet Union at one point. So therefore, you got America. I'm going to say America because they're the head of the NATO. They're the, the whore that sits on top of the beast. They're trying to... They're trying to uh, implement certain regions that really belong to Russia. So it says Kiev authorities said on Sunday that Moscow had launched ballistic missiles and several dozens of explo explosive drones at the capital overnight. Now, if you go into one of my last lessons, I showed you an, uh, an example of how drone warfare works. All right. You don't have to use men on ground no more. This thing has definitely evolved. This, the 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 Bibles is showing you how um, how this thing is evolving. You know, <clears throat> the Bible is showing you. I mean, I mean, it tells you how it evolves. Uh, one second here. I'm trying to find a video if I can find it. Yeah, I found it. I did this video about eight days ago. And I know, if you want to go on my page, it's named Neither uh, Repent a Day of Their Murders. And I start that drone video around like the 12th minute of the, um, between 12 and 12. Yeah, about the 12th minute of that video if you want to go check that out. You know, uh, so obviously we see what's going on. Let's just get the that Joel real quick Joel 3 Joel 3 9, 9 proclaim ye this among the Gentiles prepare war uh, wake up the mighty men let all the men draw near let them come up be your plowshells and Plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. It says, verse 11, assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about. Thither cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord. So we're seeing that. So North Korean missiles are being used in the Ukrainian-Russian war. That's another step. That's just another step to what's, what's about to come. Certain things are about to unfold. You know, um, more alliances are going to um, more alliances are going to be made. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hey, shit, <laughs> we're just seeing it. You're seeing it unfold, man. Um, I don't have too much else to say on this. Of course, we keep our eye on the Russian and the North Korean sector of alliance. Um, as you know, I also. Um, the BRICS nations have brought in about like 20 other nations now. And if you look on the list, the laundry list of the nations that have allied with one another, they all have the same common enemy, which are the Americans. And then um, also, too, um, if you look into it, uh, that list of nations, I think they have at least five or six of the nations that are on the top 10 list that produce oil. You know, top 10 list to produce oil. So it's... You know, to, you know what they're attacking. They're attacking the pockets of the uh, of America, and they're they're attacking it. They're going to attack it military as well once America steps into the Middle East, uh, because we see um, Iran talking what they're talking about Israel, and you know if Israel gets touched, America is going to go in there. Simple, plain put, put as it is, you know. So let's see how this unfolds. It's going to get really interesting, uh, which me, I'm saying it's going to get interesting, but it really doesn't matter who gets in the office next, regardless if it's Kamala Harris or if it's Trump, which tune in to my next lesson. I'm going to do something about Kamala Harris and what she plans on doing and why further on the point of why I think civil unrest is coming up next. So. Lord willing, this is edifying. I'm going to give all glory, honor, and praises to you. How about Shimi? How about Shai? By Shimi Chakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. We're going to teach well. Peace of salutation to the elect 144 first fruit. 
Till the next time, I'm going to say Shalom and like always, repent for you. How wish I was coming back sooner than what me and you believed. All right, Shalom.